Nam Mô Sakya Muni Buddha Dear Venerable Sangha, Buddhist ladies and gentlemen, you are invited to join us in this weekly Buddhist newsreel on Phật Sự online channel. Hereafter, six major headlines of Buddhist activities of the week. Đồng Tháp, Grand Ordination Sima Chi Tịnh performs the ritual ordaining. Activities to which George Nam made Happy New Year to the Khmer people and would be made Tết for Laotian. Ho Chi Minh City, graduation ceremony for advanced intermediate grade of monastic teacher course 10, 2019-2023. Meeting to roll out plane for the 14th Jute and Buddhism camp bearing title It's Midwest. Ho Chi Minh City, Dharma Evangelism Section organizes tea meditation, Taste of Dharma Precept. Digest of Buddhist charity activities of the week. The following are the news in details. After passing the exam, 187 novice priests were officially ordained at the Chitan Grand Ordination Sima. This year, the ordination took place during four days, from the 3rd of April to the 6th of April, at two locations, Phuc Hung Pagoda for monks and Phuc Hoa Pagodas for nuns. The Council of Ten Master Monks led by Most Venerable Titing Ang as the head of the chief invigilator, and the Council of Ten Master Nuns, led by Master Nun Thit Nữ Như Hoa, who was in the position of the chief invigilator. The Grand Ordination Sima was under the title of the late Elder Most Venerable Thit Di Thin, 1917-2014. First Deputy Dharma Master, Kum and Judy Chiri, superintendent of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha Council of Patrons, former chairman of the Administrative Council, Vietnam Buddhist Sangha. In his blessing words, Most Venerable the Chairman recalled the Buddha's words in the Vinaya Bitaka. The precepts are the lifespan of the Buddha Dharma. While the precepts remain, the Buddha Dharma remains. Thereby, it reflects the importance of precepts in the Sangha. Likewise, Buddhism has existed for more than 2,600 years and the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, since its establishment, has been steadily developing thanks to the fact that there are people who transmit the precepts, receive the precepts, and keep the precepts pure. The most venerable encourage the disciples to earnestly import the precepts from the Council of Ten Teachers like a rainfall that deserves the reality. And after attaining the precepts, they should develop a strong mind, vowing to spend the rest of their lives to keep the precepts to be dignified and pure, like protecting the arises of one's eyes. When a bhikkhu knows to keep the precepts, the light of concentration and wisdom will follow. The three karmas of greed, hatred, and delusion are eliminated at the same time, resulting in the attainment of the bodhisattva precepts and the attainment of four Samana good karmas. On the morning of April 11th, the occasion of the Chon Nam May traditional New Year of the Khmer ethnic group, the delegation of the ethnic committee led by the party central committee, Minister, Chairman Ho Allen, the delegation leader, came to Kandaransi Pagoda, District 3, Ho Chi Minh City, with congratulations to the Khmer people for the traditional New Year Chonch Nam the May. Mir Ho Aling affirmed that the party and state always give special affection and attention to ethnic minorities, especially on their traditional fiesta. He wished the most venerable Zhang Lung, the monks of Gandharan Si Pagoda, Buddhist and Khmer people a good New Year of success, good health, and a happy family. The minister chairman of the Committee for Ethnic Minority Affairs also wished that the Khmer people would continue to accompany and promote their achievements and try to have a prosperous and happy life. At the same time, we hope that religious institutions will support Khmer people, Laotian and Cambodian students living and studying in Ho Chi Minh City. Welcoming the delegation, 
most venerable Zheng Lung expressed his joy at receiving the attention of the minister, chairman of the Committee for Ethnic Minority Affairs, and the most venerable also affirmed that the pagoda would promote its role in building solidarity and friendship between the countries of Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia for religious activities. The most venerable promised to promote the spirit of national unity, actively participate in the process of implementing ethnic policies, and build the Khmer ethnic region in Ho Chi Minh City into an increasingly developed area. At the office of the Patriotic Priest Solidarity Society of Ginzhang Province, Langkat Pagoda, Rikshia City, on the afternoon of the 10th of April, the delegation led by Venerable Thich Minh Nhan, member of the Secretariat of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha Parochial Council, Vice Head of the Sangha Office II, Standing Vice Head of the Provincial Buddhist Parochial Board, arrived for a visit. Venerable Thich Minh Nhan met the religious leaders and sent New Year greetings, peace of mind and achievements in all Buddhist works. At the same time, he conveyed the best wishes to Acharas and all Buddhists to celebrate the traditional Chant Nam Tmei New Year with peace, warmth and peace in the glory of the Blessed One. The Venerable also hopes that the Venerables, Acharas and Buddhists will continue to join hands and contribute in the spirit of harmony and solidarity so that Buddhism in the province is more prosperous. Most Venerable Zhang Dong sent his gratitude to the Provincial Buddhist Parochial Board for paying attention, visiting, and wishing the New Year of the denomination, Achar and Khmer Buddhist. The Most Venerable also acknowledged the contributions of the Provincial Buddhist Board and prayed to the Buddhas to bless all the Venerable Monks, Nuns, and Buddhists in the whole province to always have the Buddha's five root karma, longevity, spirited appearance, happiness, health and wisdom. On the occasion of the traditional Lao New Year Mai, on the morning of the 10th of April, Mir Nguyen Ngoc Minh, chairman of the Union of Friendship Organizations of Da Nang City, led a delegation to visit and congratulate the Consul General of Laos in Da Nang. He sent his best wishes for a happy and successful New Year to the party, state and Laotian tribes in general, and in particular to the Consul General So Feng Ha Dao He Wang, officials and employees of the Lao Consulate in Da Nang, Lao students and people living, studying and working in Da Nang to have a peaceful, happy and prosperous New Year. In reply, the Consul General So Feng Ha Dao He Wang also thanked and appreciated many cultural educational exchange programs, Buddhist festivals, especially the program Homestay with People, scholarships for Laotian students. The Tamba Pagoda nurtures six Lao monks who are currently studying at the Pedagogical University in Da Nang City and strengthens the close relationship between the two peoples of Vietnam and Laos. On this occasion, Venerable Thich Phap Hiu expressed his gratitude to the Consul General and Lao students who have always accompanied in traditional Buddhist cultural festivals for many years. The Most Venerable performed the traditional ritual of tying the wrist to pray for peace and happiness to the Consul General of Laos and his wife, praying for a new year with favorable weather, peace and happiness. On the morning of April 7th, the Central Dharma Evangelism Section solemnly held a graduation ceremony for the advanced and intermediate monastic students of the 10th grade Southern Region. The 2019-2023 school year at Quang Duc Jen Monastery. Speaking at the opening ceremony, head of the Central Dharma Evangelism Section, Most Venerable Thich Bảo Nghiêm, emphasized the difficulties in the process of training two classes, Advanced Intermediate Grade of 10th Training Course. Thereby, the Most Venerable expressed his deep gratitude to the management section. In practice, the teachers dedicatedly maintain the quality of teaching in the difficult conditions of the COVID-19 pandemic. Therefore, the monks and nuns fully imparted the knowledge and completed the curriculum. The most venerable belief that the new teachers would be the ones who enter the Tathagata's house, wear the Tathagata's robe, sit on the Tathagata's throne, speaking the voice of the Tathagata to help purify the body and mind, creating the pure land realm 
and nirvana in this life. At the ceremony, Venerable Thich Minh Nhân, Vice Chief Secretary of the Central Dharma Evangelism Section, presented the outstanding achievements and the establishment process, along with the training of advanced intermediate monastic preachers in the northern and southern regions. After 12 courses, more than 1,000 monks and nuns have been trained. Many of them have become famous preachers and lecturers in the field of Dharma evangelism. On this occasion, the Central Dharma Evangelism Section announced the decision approving the appointment of the new Advanced Intermediate Study Management Board, consisting of 23 members led by Venerable Thich Minh Nhung as the chief of the board. Other grades are continually held at Hoa Khan Pagoda, Bentan District, Ho Chi Minh City. The 14 Youth and Buddhism Camp in 2023 with the theme East Miss West will be held from 20 of July to the 23rd of July 2023 at Quốc Ân Khải Tường Pagoda, Đồng Nai Province. On the evening of April 5, 2023, the organizing board held an online meeting to roll out the camping program. The meeting was chaired by Venerable Thích Phước Nghiêm, standing member of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha Parochial Council, vice head of the second office of the Sangha, permanent vice head of the Buddhist Guide Section, vice director of Dharma Evangelism Section. In his opening remarks, Venerable Thich Phu Quệ mentioned three main contents which need inputs from the organizing board to perfect the camping plan. The camp aims to create a healthy playground for young Buddhist students and pupils from 19 provinces in the southeast and southwest. The organizers believe that the camp will contribute to training young people to have a sense of value for their parents and grandparents, preserve national cultural identity, participate in social charity activities, be aware of protecting the environment, and live a life of goodness and morality. The organizing board agreed on main units and personnel for each subsection. Participants in the camp include young people, aged from 14 to 25, who are active in Buddhist youth clubs to participate in the camp. Campers must ensure good health to be able to participate in the camping activities and abide by the rules. The camp includes a variety of activities to help campers build up relevant skills for a good life and apply Buddhism in their daily lives, gradual and gratefulness, with proper meditation to open up wisdom. At the end of the meeting, Venerable Thich Phuc Nghiêm hoped that the camp would bring a useful summer camp program for the campers so that they have time to perceive, experience and write their own journey of juice. On the evening of April 6, 2023 at Khánh An Monastery, District 12, Ho Chi Minh City, the honorary fix of Dharma Evangelism Section and monks and nuns of the high intermediate training classes held a team meditation with the theme Taste of Dharma Precepts for Orientation and Exchange of Experiences in Evangelism Preaching. The monastic preachers were provided with experiences in preaching the Dharma in the new era, as Lakish on the way to popularize the Buddha's teachings in the world. Especially when making a vow to serve, it is necessary to keep faith in the three jewels, the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas, who would bless us in everything with achievements. The Dharma evangelism needs to be further developed to meet the needs of Buddhists, the preaching staff needs to improve the quality and quantity to spread to various classes of people. At the tea meditation session, Venerable Titri Chen, Vice Head of the Dharma Evangelism Section, talked over tea meditation elaborating the meaning. A cup of tea with a bitter taste, but when finished, it will leave a sweet taste. For example, hardships and self-efforts will bring the good results as reflected by the credo, Dharma evangelism is sacred obligation of monastic preachers without any excuses. Buddhist learners need wisdom and understanding, and cultivating brotherhood is also to repay the three jewels. To conclude the tea meditation session, Most Venerable Thich Bao Nghiêm, head of the Dharma evangelism section, thanked the attendant honorifics, especially Venerable Thich Tri Chen 
and the monks of Khanang Monastery who created the warm tea meditation space. The most venerable hopes to have more tea sessions at the pagodas and temples to recall and reflect on things and events to make life lighter. Here is the news of Buddhist charity activities of the week. On the morning of the 7th of April, 2023, Venerable Thích Trung Chánh, Hòa Minh Pagoda, Tân Tỉnh Hamlet, Song Bình Commune, Chợ Gạo District, Tiền Giang Province, in collaboration with the Vietnam Fatherland Front Committee of Chợ Gạo District, held the inauguration ceremony and handed over the house Great Solidarity, worth more than 40 million Vietnamese dong to a poor family, Mrs. Lady Bear, born in 1950. The house has an area of 50 square meters and is supported by the Venerable Thich Nguyen Phuc and the Buddhists with an amount of 40 million Vietnamese dong. The remaining course is mobilized by the leadership of the hamlet, contributed by the families, to fund an additional of 20 million Vietnamese dong. Total construction cost is 60 million Vietnamese dong. On this occasion, the ladies' house owner also received many supportive gifts from the venerable honorifics and community leaders to congratulate the housewarming. On the morning of the 9th of April, 2023, Changkien Bridge Construction Association and Tennis Forum, Ho Chi Minh City, coordinated with local authorities to hold a groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of the bridge Amitabha Dai Nguyen Nam Nai in Tân Hiệp Commune, Thanh Hoa District, Long An Province. After its survey, Chen Kien Bridge Construction Association campaigned and connected with Tanis Forum, Ho Chi Minh City, and sponsors to join hands with local authorities to support the construction of a new bridge, helping people feel secure to travel, produce, develop the economy, improve their lives, and make it easier, safer, and more convenient for students to go to school. The rural traffic bridge Amitabha Dai Nguyen Nam Nai in Tân Hiệp Commune has a length of 35 meters, a width of 4 meters, with estimated construction costs of about 630 million Vietnamese dong. The funding source is Cheng Kien Bridge Construction Association and Tennis Forum, Ho Chi Minh City, to sponsor 250 million Vietnamese dong. The other cost is mobilized and contributed by local people. Venerable monks and nuns, Buddhist ladies and gentlemen, the last news has signed off this weekly newsreel. Thank you for your attention and following. Goodbye and see you in the next program on PSO TV channel. Namo Sakya Muni Buddha.